Oh, God. Ah, uh, yes, I still have technical difficulties still when I'm trying to record. So today I decided to move the camera over from that side to this side. I don't know why. Probably because I want you to see my office. No, I don't. Because this is just files. This is actually my office. So that's, those are files and stuff and things. And those are pictures. So those don't really count. And this is files. That's my guitar. Because that's where I keep it. I've tried to hang it on the wall, but everywhere I put a hole in the wall to hang the, my thing, there's something there. Like, I don't know, heat vents and fireplace, all kinds of stuff. So I've got to figure out somewhere else. I might be able to put it on this wall back here by the window, but we'll see. <laughs> Not that you need to know that. But hey, have you ever had a day with your mascara? Where you just wonder. It's a lot like paint for me. I just put mascara on a little while ago. And it was everywhere. And my hair today, I can like mega conditioned it today. It is the softest hair ever. So it's like really, it's everywhere. And it's it won't do anything. It just is kind of like, no, no, we are. It's like we're just too soft. We're too soft. We can't, we can't move because we're too soft. I'm sorry. It's your loss. So anyway, that's what's going on in my world. I have crazy mascara issues and soft hair. So, yeah. If that's the worst thing that happens to me today, life is going to be really, really good. I had somebody the other day ask me what microphone I use because my sound, your sound is so good. What do you use? Seriously, you got to see this. I use a telephone, like a phone microphone, taped onto, you can't see it because it's too bright, but it's taped onto a thing of lotion. And it's not just any lotion. It's cocoa butter lotion from the dollar store. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, that's the microphone I used. No fancy microphone using here. I used to have my PA system hooked up when I would do, like, when I was doing actual recording. And now I don't, because I'm lazy that way. I could go out and get it and bring it in and hook it up, but I don't know. And my desk, oh my God, you should see it. I'm not even going to show it to you, because it's an insane, and it's all mine. <laughs> That's the bad part about it, is it's all mine. I could blame Jada, but I, there's nothing here for which I could blame Jada. Except maybe the matches. She came down with the matches the other day. Mom? Can we, I want to light some matches, Mom. I'm like, really, honey? No. We don't play with fire. <gasps> Mom, you can light it, okay? And I'll just blow it out. I'm like, oh, no. I'm raising a pyromaniac. Never. So, my hat from New Zealand. You know, the strange thing about this hat is now that my hair is longer, it doesn't fit anymore. It's, it's weird. Just had something fly by. Not that, it's because it's a window. The, things will fly by when the window's open. Let's see, what has happened this week that's exciting and fun? Oh, the uh, Swingles people came by today, but they were just the people to spray the weeds, so I had to take them outside, physically go outside in my unshowered, pajama-wearing outfit and my glasses. I was very, very pretty this morning, and because I, I have on these like sweats that your, that your grandma would wear. And they're like halfway down my legs and they're kind of baggy. And I had on a, you know, like a sleeveless shirt with no bra. <laughs> and my hair was all akimbo and a baseball cap. And I'm on the phone and I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta go. I gotta tell these dudes where not to spray my weeds. And then I proceeded to tell him the whole story about where they had sprayed my weeds. And he's like, well, did you call the supervisor? I, uh, or the office? I said, I most certainly did. And they said they were going to send a supervisor and they never did. He said, well, I will take good care of you. And he did. He was a very nice young man. And um, listen to me. <laughs> he was a very nice young man. <laughs> it's like a thousand years old. I don't remember his name. One guy's name was Cody. I think his name was Adam. Adam! Adam! Anyway, he, um, he they gave us, they're going to give us a fort, us being not me, being Dwight, because it's his house. Going to give him a $40 credit this month. So we can buy more plants. No. I just cut them down and start it over. Whatever. So, 
And let's see what else. Jada had her first track meet, and it was, God, it was long. I was like, oh, do we, because it's like, there's a, like an hour, sometimes hour and a half between each event. And I was like, we are not doing the standing long jump again. That's just ridiculous. Because you get there at 8.30, and there's like 5 million kids. This was a big track meet. I was surprised. There were probably 15 teams, maybe more, um, competing in this thing. And some of them had humongous teams. And some like ours had like 10 kids. <laughs> no, we got more than that. I think we had 20, maybe, maybe 25 kids. Anyway, Jada, as well as she runs and as fast as she is, has no competitive spirit at all. She just wants to play with everybody. So during the 400, and Jay is a pretty good long distance runner. She's pretty, you know, she'll get there eventually. She's not the fastest, but she's not the slowest either. But she was running. She's in the seven to eight year old category. So all the eight year olds are like a foot taller than she is, and they're running past her. And um, she and this little seven year old girl, <laughs> they're running together and they're talking, and they're having a chat. And I was like, run, Jay, run. It's like, mom, I'm running. I'm a bad mom. I'm a bad coach mom. I'm like, well, run. You know what? She was having a good time, so I don't care. She got a bunch of ribbons. So here, I'll show you her ribbons. She, Jada is more inclined, I think, to do the triathlons and stuff. But there are her ribbons. Um, very pretty. She likes the purple one best. I think that's seventh place. But yeah, that's her favorite one. Because she... Um, I love Jada. She has fun. That's all that matters. It's all that matters. She had a good time. And uh, here are her, there's her most recent triathlon medal. Yeah, very exciting. I'm, a proud, I'm not a proud mom or anything, am I? So that was that, and that was fun. That was a good time. Let's see. I think that's it. Nothing exciting. I will be singing this Sunday at church. I'm, I haven't sung at CUC in a long time because I've been doing choir up at Mile High. So I'll be doing some uh, solo work this weekend. If anybody is interested in coming to the, I think I'm only singing at the 10 o'clock service, but I'm not sure. I better find, I guess I better find out because if I don't show up, they'll be like, hey, where you been? And I'll be like, well, I'm in bed, sleeping on a Sunday morning where normal people should be. No, no, I'm a heathen. I'm going straight to hell. <laughs> at least that's what they tell me. All of them, whoever they are, you know, them, them people. So my friend Kelly, again today, gave me another song. She is forever picking out songs for me to sing. And I'm like, sure, because I can't think of anything. I was going to sing um, Calling All Angels. I need a sign to help me know you're here. But she said, no, 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 sing Land of Canaan. Oh, my God, I haven't sung Land of Canaan in 20 years. That's not a joke. I sang with Susan, my friend Susan, um, Way back in the day, back in 1990-something, we sang Land of Canaan. That was one of the very first songs that we learned. And I haven't sung it in that long. It's been 20 years since I sung Land of Canaan. So, without further ado, I'm going to move that over to that screen over there. You guys are kind of getting me from a different view. And, oh, I know what I was going to talk about. My acne. I am breaking out like a teenager. It's crazy ridiculous. Did I save this? Hold on, I have to actually work now. Oops, don't forget to work. Okay, don't forget you have a job. I have to print something. I'm making an appointment for a showing. And I don't have my glasses on so I can't see very well. Anyway, and this is for, uh, let's see, address 3635 South Depew. Okay, and they're going to want to see that. So anyway. There, all done. Whee! Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm, I gotta find the song. There it is. Okay, so here's the thing. If I sing this well, we'll get all the way through it and everything will be fine. And I'm kind of loud, so I'm hoping that it won't um, overwhelm the microphone. <laughs> this fantastic microphone I have. It's so great. If I had my other, if I had my other system set up, I could turn the guitar on and turn it down and that kind of thing. But this is like one shot deal. And um, all right, I'm over there. So if if it doesn't if it doesn't come out well, I'll just take this off and sing something else. 
trying to think if there's anything else exciting I need to tell you that's happened this week, and I don't think so. I have re- had a really boring week. Um, oh, my house has, our house, I should say, my house has come to be the kid zone. So all the kids down the street play with Jada, and they all come up here and play, because I guess I'm the cool mom, because we were out, like, throwing water balloons, and Jason's job to do the yard with a hose, and, you know, stuff. Things that kids do. So we had a good time, and it, there were bikes all over or bikes all over the driveway. I was hoping nobody tried to drive in or drive out because they would all have been squished. Oh boy. You can go to the east to find your your in the You say you're under the same sky, baby. Don't you realize honey, it's not that clear? I'm not your promise, lady. I'm not the land of Canaan, oh sweetheart Waiting for you under the sun I'm only tonight, I'm missing you now I'm wanting you love and you're giving it out I'm lonely tonight, I'm lonely tonight I'm lonely tonight, ooh yeah Well the meaning has changed for what it's worth standing up so you guys can see what I look like standing up to play. <laughs> I couldn't coordinate standing up and playing at the same time. I'm like, wow. So no wonder I can't put mascara on or paint a house with, oh my god, the mascara was all over me. I had it, you can probably still see it. It was like here on my eye and it was here and then it was like down on my cheek. I'm like, really? But how long have I been doing this? But it was everywhere. And then it was in my hair. And when you get it in your hair, and then I, like, did this thing with my hair, and it was, like, this big, long streak. I was like, war paint. That's it, war paint. Anyway, everybody, happy Friday Eve. It was a beautiful day out in Colorado today. Um, Yeah, it was a beautiful day. Oh, man, it's, like, 85 degrees, and it's perfect. There's a little bit of a breeze, so if you go outside, it's not too hot. Oh, it's nice. Living in Colorado is a good thing. Anyway. Over here. There I am. <laughs> Happy Friday Eve, everybody. 
Pray for my hair because it is not behaving. It's like, no, mm -mm, no, we are not in the mood. We're just, we're just going to do what we want. Hmm, hmm. A friend of mine, Jane, asked me asked on Facebook today, are you a rule keeper or are you a break, rule breaker? I'm just going to tell you, my hair today, total rule breaker. Total. It's it's a, not only that, it's a slacking rule breaker. I'm just a slacky. I'm slacking. I, I'm not staying anywhere. I don't care how much product you put in. I don't care what you do. I'm not, I'm not playing. I am not playing your silly games. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take my ball and go home. <sighs> Happy Friday, everybody. Have a good weekend.